Hi everyone. Um, I've been having another play around with this uh, this morning. Um, I thought I would just share with you a little bit of the uh, complexity of this software. It's really quite amazing. Um, I've got a signal here, uh, Australia 12065. Um, and from the front panel, uh, there are quite a few options for attenuation, noise blanking, notch filtering, obviously various, this is AM mode, there's AM sync, uh, noise reduction, etc, etc. There's actually four receivers um, in this unit. Um, and so here's the nice spectrum for Australia. I'll turn the volume down um, a little bit. Um, and here you can see uh, the frequency uh, on the ELAV unit itself, 5065. And um, it's quite good actually, because I think I showed you yesterday that you can literally, I'm gonna do it, I can tune with the actual unit and obviously shift the frequency so that effectively the spectrum shifts. Um, but what you can also do is they have this um, sliding kind of scale, slide rule type um, tuning system graphic. So, and it's basically, so this is basically meter bands. So that's very coarse tuning. And then you have megahertz um, scale tuning and then effectively fine tuning. And you only have to hold the mouse cursor over this to start moving. So um, as you can see, the sort of scale's moving. So I'm going up in frequency. Um, here's the marker here. So go back to Australia, 12065. Um, you can see the frequencies counting up as well here. Um, so it's pretty clever. Uh, there you go. So 12 or 6 5, it will take 20 hertz. And so it's back. So you can, so that's, it's really good actually because it means that you can coarse tune um, and fine tune and you can do it pretty quickly. Um, the other way, you can actually just directly input, double click frequency bar here and you can actually move those up and down the digits up and down or you can literally just type the frequency into the box so it's pretty quick or of course you can uh, just do it manually on the uh, ELAD itself um, and then in terms of the display and the way everything's set up there's a huge amount of uh, detail in the way that you can set everything up so this is basically how to um, adjust the tu various tuning steps um, and there's options for the tuning itself, the how the tuning bar scales, um, which uh, how the controls work. So what what you're going to use, you know, which presets you use for up and down. The various audio options with the automatic gain control and audio output. Uh, so many options with the graphics for the main spectrum plot, the waterfall. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it'll take a long time to go through all of that, but um, demodulation uh, settings, uh, CW pitch, frequency, uh, and then there's some remote control settings, and then some advanced stuff for the configuration, uh, pan adapter mode, down convert mode, I mean, the mind boggled really, uh, and then some stuff on memory, on the recording uh, parameters um, and then just some general information. So a huge amount of uh, configuration possibilities. It's, it is complex. Um, it's a oh, hundred times more complex than the uh, software I used on my Mac with the RTL STR, but I guess that's what you need. Um, to produce some uh, uh, some good recordings, some good DX. Um, so I need to have a play about with it. What I, I've loaded some software for screen capture on a Mac. You can do screen capture just simply through QuickTime. Um, I'm using a different piece of software. Um, I've loaded it onto this computer. Um, and what I'm going to do is, after I've uploaded this video, I'm going to upload a, a video, a screen capture video, and just as a test to see how it works. So uh, I'll find a signal and record it. For a minute or two and then upload that but um, anyway so I just thought that's a kind of little overview um, as you can see um, it's, there's a, 
it's a lot to learn, but um, it's really interesting. And um, I think in conjunction with the Wellbrook, um, it should produce some uh, good DX results. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, reading the rest of the manual and then um, hopefully getting the configuration right and um, uh, and then basically start doing some serious DX. So, so there you go. So I'll uh, sign off now, upload this video, and then I'll take a screenshot video and upload that as well. Thanks for watching.